Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember, click here to check out our brand new app-based NCLEX product. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. Now analgesics, aka our pain medications, we have two types, non-opioids as well as opioids. Now the biggest difference is that non-opioids are non-sedating and opioids are sedating, causing everything to be low and slow with the opioids. So for non-opioids, we have NSAIDs and acetaminophen, brand name is Tylenol. Now both have antipyretic or anti-fever effects, and the anti-inflammatory effects are only with the NSAIDs. Again, it's not a CNS depressant, so the vital signs are not low and slow. Now on the other side of things, Opioids, those are our big guns causing sedation. Big CNS depressants making the vital signs low and slow. Again, they do not have any anti-inflammatory or anti-pyretic properties. Remember, opioids think low and slow. So we get a low and slow heart, lungs, and brain. Now first up are NSAIDs given for mild to moderate pain. So we made the acronym NSEC to help you remember all the names of NSAIDs. So N for naproxen. Guys, big NCLEX tip right there. The number one NSAID given is naproxen, according to question banks. S is for salicylic acid, aka aspirin. And A for acetosalicylic acid, again, aspirin. Guys, this is also an antiplatelet used to thin the blood. And I is for ibuprofen and indomethazine, which everyone should know ibuprofen. Now, a key one is K for Ketorolac. Brand name is Toradol. This is the only one we can actually give through an IV. Now, the indication is we give to reduce a fever, known as an antipyretic. So, basically, a fever reducer, as well as anti-inflammation. Typically given for gout and arthritis, like an RA. Now guys, a common HESI and ATI question usually has something like this. Gout teaching has been effective when a patient states, I can use ibuprofen or naproxen for pain. Yes, because gout and arthritis usually indicates inflammation. Or a patient with RA, rheumatoid arthritis, guys, NSAIDs relieve the symptoms. Now as far as the mechanism of action, NSAIDs decrease prostaglandin response. So to decrease this pain and inflammation, you can think prostaglandins are like a big party popper that basically puff up the body and contribute to inflammation. Also, they decrease platelet aggregation, especially with aspirin, which leads to a big risk for bleeds. So to help you remember this and all the key points for your exams, we use the acronym N SEDS. N for it's not good for the entire body. We're talking GI bleeds, so it's bad for ulcers. Bad for the lungs, we have bronchospasms, so it's bad for asthmatic patients. Bad for the heart because it leads to hypertension and worsening heart failure. Talk about kidney clogging. Guys, it increases creatinine and BUN, the two kidney labs, as well as blood clots. So guys, the key point here is we never take two NSAIDs simultaneously. Use the lowest dose for the shortest amount of time possible. Now, S is for sticky blood, known as a thrombosis. Guys, again, increased risk for clots. So it's bad for patients with a clot history, like an MI or a heart clot, a stroke or CVA, basically a brain clot, and even DVTs and PEs. Now, again, Aspirin is the weird one here. It's kind of the hybrid of the group, and it's used to thin the blood for cardiac patients. But we cover more of that in detail in its own lecture. Now, A is for asthma, guys. Big NCLEX tip here. Leading to bronchospasm. So just remember, NSAIDs are not safe for asthma. Key terms are asthma and nasal polyps. The nurse should clarify the order. Now, this info has been mentioned various times throughout many different quiz banks. So the common question is, a patient with asthma or nasal polyps, usually the options are to use acetaminophen instead of an NSAID. 
Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.